Hey, good evening, everybody. What a nice day it has been. The clouds kept the temperature down, and there were a few sprinkles around the area. You can see the downtown area and even 80 degrees right now. East southeast wind at 16 miles an hour, and we did make it up to 83. That was a high for the day officially. 73 year low and 800 of an inch of rain. That puts us at 6.66 inches above normal for this time of the year. What if you're heading out to the beach or the coastal waters tomorrow? Well, you can expect numerous showers and thunderstorms. It's going to be kind of a rough day out there, slightly choppy bays, seas at four to eight feet, and you're also looking at a very high UV index with a high rip current risk as well. Seawater temperature at 81 degrees, and it's getting up there now. Small craft should be exercising caution. Now, speaking of rip current risk, you see the red flag out there, stay in the shallows. Don't get out there where rip currents can affect you. Avoid that condition at all possible. All right, here's the big picture. You've got a big upper level low. Look familiar? This is the same setup we saw last week where that big low was sitting out in the desert southwest and little areas of instability would rotate across our region, producing severe weather. Right now, a tornado watch over the eastern plains of New Mexico and into Trans-Pecos, Texas. We do have a big plume of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, and we will be seeing that overtaking, overspreading our area as that other axis of instability comes across. It means more thunderstorms tomorrow, so we're going to be watching for increasing rain chances during the pre-dawn hours tomorrow and extending across our region during the day tomorrow. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s. This is that rain-cooled area from that little system that moved in from the Gulf of Mexico during the early morning hours. It's parked right up there in north central Texas. Look at the 90s from the middle Rio Grande Plains and back into El Paso and even 96 degrees. But around here, the clouds have kept the temperatures down to near normal levels in the upper 70s to middle 80s. And we're looking at an overnight low that'll take us down into the lower 70s tomorrow and then back into the lower to middle 80s again for your tomorrow afternoon. But there'll be a lot of clouds and rain out there. Notice that fetch off the Gulf of Mexico. You can see by Sunday afternoon quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity is indicated by this high resolution model. We'll see that again to a lesser extent on your Monday, but the big picture is that it's going to get wet again. And the problem with this is that the rain has already saturated the soils. And so any rain that falls is going to be a real problem for us from the perspective of flash flooding. So that's why we would liable to get a flash flood watch in our northern counties uh, that'll extend through tomorrow. So keep that one in mind for your planning purposes. Tomorrow may not be such a great day and a moderate uh, or excuse me, slight risk of severe uh, of flash flooding in those northernmost counties. Uh, marginal risk in our uh, central portions of the coastal bend. Tonight, though, down into the lower 70s by daybreak and then to the lower 80s with lots of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Your next seven days, well, you got a good chance of rain tomorrow, slightly less chance Monday and Tuesday, maybe a stray shower Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the 80s. Javier?